is a five-star chef from the Lone Star State. John Cesar is sharing his love for healthy foods with us from his new restaurant called Cesar's Modern Steak and Sustainable Seafood, located in the woodlands right outside Houston this morning. It's all on a shoestring, folks. Three courses under 35 bucks. John, great to see you again. Great Good to, to have you, you too, here from Chris. the great Thank state of Texas. Nice me. to have you in our little, uh, little city here. So what's on the menu this morning? Well, we have an heirloom tomato and watermelon salad. It's yeah. August. It's perfect. A little feta cheese. Then we have some turkey meatloaf uh, with a little special technique and a rustic tomato sauce, and then lemon tart with a blackberry puree for dessert. Lemon tart looks good. Let's get right to it now. The new okay. restaurant opens up in what, about two weeks? Um, I think the 25th of August, somewhere between the, there and September 1st. Right around Labor Day, right there. In your so old if, hometown. If you're in the woods, exactly. If yes. you're in the Woodlands, Texas, check it out. It's gonna be great. But now let's start with Thank the you. heirloom tomatoes here. So we have these beautiful heirloom tomatoes. Heirloom tomatoes are just tomatoes that have been grown generation after generation. Yep. They have different personalities, different names, different flavor profiles. When I guess to the amateur the cooker like myself, you see tomatoes that look like this and you may say to yourself, eh, don't look too fresh, but they're really, the difference in taste between the heirloom and just regular, let's say, beefsteak tomatoes is... They're sweeter, they're juicier, they're, it's just a better eating tomato, and they're seasonal. More really? important, because okay. this is the season for them. Okay. So I have some large ones, and I have some small ones. So as many as you like. You want to put a little watermelon on there? While Love I love watermelon. I'm going to put a little feta cheese on there, break it up a little bit. Before I put the feta cheese, I, I like to use a little sea salt. Yeah. Because it gives everything a little bit of uh, you know contrast between Not too the sweetness. Much, just a pinch. Just a pinch because the cheese has a little salt in it. And then, you know, if you like a little cheese, a lot of cheese, you know. Depending on your It's taste, subjective, yeah. exactly. You put the parsley on, a little fresh basil. A little garnish right on the top. Yeah, what, just, you know, side? break it up, break it up a little bit. It's like a piece or two. I'm going to put dill. Whatever Love you have, whatever you like, I mean, but you have to use these soft herbs. You wouldn't want to use thyme or rosemary on this, just yep. something very summery. And then we have a vinaigrette. This is rice wine vinegar, okay. extra virgin olive oil, and just a little salt and pepper. Nice and easy, just mix a little it up. Bit. And you just put a little bit, because the tomatoes and the watermelon have so much juice. This is just to give it a, a little accent. And, and there, there, you have it, folks. there it is. Heirloom tomato, nice little watermelon. You're talking Simple. about great for the season, too. Just like a little fresh Perfect. pepper on that. A little fresh <laughs> pepper on that. <laughs> We're all whatever set. you like. Now, the meatloaf. All right, this is something. Um, I had a restaurant here in New York City and I developed this because we serve comfort food. Okay. And you know, meatloaf is traditionally beef and pork and all this other stuff, so we wanted to have it be healthy. Yeah, so because it comes a little, it sounds a little heavy, obviously. Yeah, but not, but not boring. Yeah. So we saute some onions and some shiitake mushrooms. Yep. We put it into dark meat turkey. I prefer the dark meat because it's moister, mm -hmm. a little bit more flavorful. You want to just throw, throw those the, right in there. And the turkey meatloaf makes yeah. it so much healthier, correct? You want, yes. Low in fat, low in cholesterol. You can eat a lot more of it. So this is just your onions, your shiitake mushrooms. We sauteed them in just a little Take vegetable them. oil. And the important, but you want to kind of cook it ahead of time and yep. let them cool, because you don't want to pour, put the hot okay. mixture into the cold turkey, yep. okay? And then this is just like my mom's old recipe. We have a couple of bread, some breadcrumbs. You don't want to put too much breadcrumbs, because it's, it's a filler and you'll taste the bread. Got it. A little Parmesan cheese, little just Parmesan. for some character. Exactly, a little Italiano, and some ketchup. The secret recipe, recipe or the secret ingredient to any good meatloaf and eggs is right here ketchup <laughs> and eggs can't go wrong all right just get a little mix you just mix it up you know you want to give it a little mix and can you actually get the hands in there like I normal would, meatloaf if or we do you, weren't do on not, television my hands would be deep be in there Chris. right in there you're just yeah. trying to take a more civilized a approach and we appreciate that yeah well we're going to touch other things so if you don't want to be civilized i'll, I'll I'll be uncivilized. Go ahead, throw your hands in there. I love that about you. Because this is how, maybe, this is what we do with the meatloaf, you See? know what I'm mean? saying? That's why Chris has his own apron. Exactly. <laughs> I gotta use this thing. I've had this thing for six months. It's never so much as got any salt on it. Here we go. All uh, right. Does that look gorgeous or yes. what, folks? I mean, would you love some meat? No. <laughs> A little salt. Yep. I'll get the pepper, Chris. <laughs> Thank Excuse <you>. me. Please. <laughs> we'll switch. I'm needing here. Okay. But seasoning is very important, so you definitely don't want to forget that salt and pepper. Eric, I'm going to get you a nice scoop of this when you come over, okay? <laughs> All right, let's keep moving so on. Here. We got about this, a minute left. You can make this ahead of time, and yep. I like to I like to form it into a loaf like this mm -hmm. because you know we're in a restaurant, meat loaf. You can throw it in a pan and make it yep. look like chopped meat. But this we have a little presentation to it. Now underneath, I have my own little secret. It's coal fat. Yeah. Coal fat is a, is a lining, but it disappears as you cook it. Right. So it's very similar to the bacon. It's just some transparent well, it looks like fat. Like a webbing almost. I mean, yes. It's really incredible. You can you can do that silence of the lambs yeah. thing. So if you want to. <laughs> so I've shaped the meatloaf, and you want to put it in. I have three slices of bacon in there also yep. to give it some more flavor. Of course. And you just roll it right up in the coal fat and the bacon, just like this. Make a nice little package out of it. Yep. And the thing is, you know, I'm from Texas, so we cook slow and low. So once you make your little package, you put it on a baking sheet, 
cook it in the oven at 250 until it's golden brown, and this is what it should look like wow. in, in the very end. It's perfect. You are a weapon of mass production. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have a little bit of an Italian background, so yeah. I like meatloaf on a little tomato sauce. Kind gotcha. of highlights the ketchup. But I make my tomato sauce a little, uh, there's a special twist to it. I heat up my oil first, yep. and then I take my onions, yeah. my carrots. Carrots. The garlic would be garlic. peeled, but yep, we're not going to throw it in there. So you heat up the oil, then you throw in rosemary and some thyme. And as the oil heats up, all of that slowly fries. And rather having chunks in your tomato sauce, when you're done, you just take the flavored oil and pour it into the tomato sauce. Look at that. So you let that sit and you let this simmer, salt and pepper for about 20 minutes. And all that oil will come up to the top. You skim it off and you serve it. We have a finished oil right here. John, it looks great. Still Dress that right there, if you would. Yes. Because we need to check your prices here. All right, let's check your prices right now and see exactly how you did, because we want to see exactly, uh, you know, where you rank uh, with everyone. You get $33.24. Fantastic. Does it make it into our time? Oh, oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, oh we got a bronze medalist. We've got a bronze medalist. You're on the podium. You're on the podium. You're on the podium. <laughs> no one's beating LeBron. Thank you. What, what I feel held, like we need some special That's Lance Armstrong. Shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms. All right.